Hi guys, welcome back. Today uh, is actually actually day number two for Trans World, so it's uh, Wednesday. Yesterday, <clears throat> Tuesday morning, we left around three o'clock a.m. Uh, got here in St. Louis around eight. Um, started setting up our booth. So after one day of work, we've got our booth is all built. We've got like a few things to hang up and stuff. Here's this side, slaughterhouse pump pages right here so we got the construction phase all done yesterday so now we're into the hanging up product phase so um, that's where we're at we started hanging up masks yesterday we're gonna keep hanging up masks now um, try to get all those up so we can get these these bins and stuff out of here um, then start cleaning up trash and stuff we got Monster Chompers up over here, Scarecrow's up. Um, once we get the masks up, we'll probably start working on the slaughterhouse, putting up the rest of the stuff. So anyway, let's get to it. All right, guys, we've left the trade show floor. We did get our whole booth up. Um, I didn't vlog just because we were working so hard, but right now, uh, me and Hutch and, and Devin are going to the opening night mixer. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a party, but there's a bunch of tables with like topics happening. Um, uh, about haunted house stuff, so we'll see if there's any information that we get or if it's more just people, you know, talking shit about what they did. So we'll see how it goes. I'll try to vlog some stuff. All right, guys, so uh, I did not end up recording the last night at the um, mixer. The party was really good, um, less of a party, it was uh, for networking, it was really good. I got to meet a bunch of people. Um, had some good talks with some haunters. It's it was like something I would do every year. It's you know it's less of a party and more of a time to go and talk to people and meet people and talk about stuff. So I really like that, and and I mean it. I'll, I'll do that every year. So um, that's on my list, the opening night mixer. But anyway, uh, Thursday morning now. Uh, this is opening day for Trans World. So um, quick tour of our booth. We've got, welcome to Town of Hills Hollow, covered in vines and alien sacks and pods and stuff. Real cool. Haunt Pages booth. We're still getting this stuff kind of cleaned up. These are orders, so they need to go over there, but here is the booth, Haunt Pages, all this. The lights are not on yet, but they will be. Um, got Scare Bears over here. Wall of masks. No, I'm just saying, that's what I <laughs> Rack of masks. Children bodies, different things like that. More masks, more dead kids, more masks. We've got the posters up here, all along here. Inside here, more dead kids. We've got the flashlights, um, shaker cans up here. Claustrophobia, half claustrophobia, flaps, curtain chaos. <coughs> the black light room here, there's a product in there. And then we've got uh, on this side the monster chompers, scarecrows up here. So these guys are all hooked up. They've got their audio ran. A few bodies over here. More posters on the top. Coming to this side, that was only half our booth. We've got more, so this is like our clown wall. Clowns here, clown weapons. This is like extra costumes. Clown costumes up here. More posters up top. Coming over this way. The punch glove mallet, mini props up here. Here's all the staffs. Some posters, some stilt pants, horn wall. <coughs> Smaller horns are on this side. There is the Black Widow. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Into the slaughterhouse. We have dead things everywhere. Skinned goat. 
cut off heads, costumes, all over the place. Been real good. You're not lying about that. So, we got to get everything uh, turned on and running, turn lights on, turn audio on, turn fans on, all that stuff. So, I'm going to move around, start making sure everything's operating. We're going to go. All right, guys, so the show is open. Stuff's rocking and rolling. Audience is inside. Um, we're selling something already. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to grab a drink. And we're going to walk around and start looking at some stuff. So let's do it. been here um didn't record anything all day today so that was good um super busy day we were i was in class all day when i was in the class it was just we ran around and did business for haunt pages this morning before the trade show opened then we uh hey look there's joe going to fucking be weird with some cleaning supplies <laughs> you missed him here he walked down that hallway Joe went that way. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Bro, like, I'm like this at all. I didn't notice that the, this was the lobby and yeah, the pool Yeah, I think it's kind of cool that the pool's on like on top. Yeah. I think that's kind of a cool feature. No, but that's kind of gross, actually. So when it's open, you smell wet and nasty. Anyway, so um, it was crazy today. Um, last night was the city museum party. I meant to record it, left my camera in the hotel. Sorry, but I think that's going to be something that we do from now on. That was fun. I think we'll c come much better prepared for it. Yeah. But uh, everyone enjoyed it. We all got fucking beat up, but we all enjoyed it. Um, this morning, like I said, we did we did business for Haunt Pages. Um, ran around, hand out inf handed out information, and then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then um, show floor opened. It was very busy today. Our booth was very busy, probably the busiest day we've ever had at Trans World. Um, I was in class all day, spent like four or five hours in classes. R really good classes. I took one class with um, with the panel. Uh, it, had, it had Ben Armstrong, James Pallas. Come on in. Um, one other guy named Teddy, I don't, I don't know his last name. And Alan Hopps talking about hiring and recruitment, different things like that. Really good. Then I was in two classes about uh, additional sources of revenue for your haunted house. So one was about um, you know stuff you can add to your to your haunt, like uh, like food and 
and games and gift shops and stuff. Then the next one was about stuff that you can do like throughout your year. Um, like doing paintball, doing a midway in at your haunt, opening up for weddings, opening up for birthday parties, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. But basically I got like a wealth of knowledge. All three of them were good. The key to doing classes at Transworld is the title is cool. The title is going to tell you what, like, what the topic is. But you need to vet the people who are teaching the class. Um, that's what I've learned. Because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't take classes at Transworld. They're a waste of time. Not true. Um, but you have to vet the people that teach them. I know if I take a class with Alan Hops, I'm going to walk away having learned something. I know if I take a class with someone from Zombie Army, I'm probably going to walk away ha having learned something. If I take a class with Ben Armstrong, I will walk away having learned something. All those people are very good, and I'll take classes from them a hundred times. So, look at who is teaching your class. That's going to tell you whether or not you're going to learn something. It will learn something of value. So, anyway, we're going to the casino night. Clearly, I have my camera. We will record some stuff. We'll have some fun, get some drinks, it's gonna be a good night. So here you get game tickets, and then you play games to earn fake money. This is your starting money. So here's the, here's the food options. We've got some beef empanadas with a green lime chimichurri, chicken pot stickers with citrus ponzu, and toasted ravioli with some marinara. It's all pretty good. Um, if you wanna get full, you're gonna to have to come back like two or three times, but I mean, it was all good. I enjoyed it. The sauces are good. Anyway, we're going to play some games. They've got horse derby, roulette, craps, mega money, whatever that is, and mega blackjack over there. So the way this party works, you show up and they hand you a card. It looks something like this. It has all these cards, which is your fake money on it. And you use this to gamble on these games and earn other money chips. So let's do it. All right, so far we're still at casino night. I won so much money on a table they had to shut it down because uh, they didn't have any more chips. So that's cool. Um, the betting on stuff will start. So if you don't know, in casino night, they've got all these like, they're inflatable games. They give you fake money, you win fake money, you bet, you win, you play, you get more money. Then at the end, they have uh, an auction where you use that fake money and you bet on that were donated by vendors so it's like real haunt shit that you get with fake money so really cool we're gonna try to win some stuff it's a good time all right so they did change the rules this year and no matter how much money you had you're only allowed to bet on one thing which you know not ultimately a bad thing because um, one guy had like a hundred grand so we ended up uh, we got a whole bag of scare badges which is cool so now I'm the hunt master, so that's kind of fun. Anyway, we're uh, we're gonna close up for the day. I guess close up this episode. So, um, Steph and I are gonna go upstairs, grab some information, then come down to the bar, grab some drinks, and go over it. So, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Justin Hill tuning out. You stay scary. Justin Hill about to be shot. <laughs>
And we're happy to customize. We're right now. I've got everything out by June 10th. Okay. Uh, I, I have my own stuff to do. Just keep it because. Alright.
Okay.